A welcome development in the battle to bring Japan's nuclear crisis under control. Engineers at the Fukushima plant have managed to connect a power cable to reactor number two. By restoring power, operators should be able to restart the pumps needed to send coolant over the reactor. They are concentrating on their efforts to feed power into the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant from the outside. At the same time, they're trying to determine whether it would be possible to take photos from above the plant to evaluate the result of yesterday's water spray. Japanese military helicopters previously dropped around 30 tons of water onto the affected reactors. Their storage pools are in need of a constant supply of water. Otherwise, fuel rods are exposed to the air and could consequently overheat and release radioactivity. As to radiation measurements around the site, high radiation levels are being detected in certain locations. But on the whole, the readings suggest the radiation levels are not so high as to affect human health. Engineers hope to fix a power cable to two reactors on Friday and to two others by Sunday. The official line from the IAEA is that the situation at Fukushima has not deteriorated, but could yet do so. They've described the plant's current status as reasonably stable.